this is going to be the only way you will enjoy a delicious cabbage meal do not go away hello hello beautiful people your girl claudia right here welcome and welcome back to my kitchen today i will be showing you how to make the most tastiest ever savory delicious fried cabbage and some beef it is so healthy and low fat if you're new here please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so let's start off with our list of ingredients and right here i have my beef to start off with it has been already washed to boil it until it is tender you will need some water and to have for it to have a beautiful flavor some onion slices i will also bring in some salt and some seasoning powder or beyond powder or beyond cubes or maggie cubes whatever seasonings you have you can season it for our veggies i will be using some celery sticks that's fresh ingredients right here tomatoes carrots green bell pepper onion red bell pepper also you can also use any color of your red bell pepper i have some leeks and fresh garlics you can use any garlics of your choice so guys i know if you want your cabbage to have a really good flavor you should try adding some fresh leeks to it and trust me you are going to love it so guys for my garden here i have some gar some cabbage here this is for my garden and i have some cabbage leaves here so for the cabbage leaves it is like beautiful green because this one hasn't yet formed a head so it is still beautiful green i usually use just the green one to give my um fried cabbage a good color you know they say what they say the eyes eat first before the mouth so i'm just gonna give that a very good slice and i'll go ahead to prep the rest of the ingredients Cooking with Claudy, cooking with Claudy, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudy, cooking with Claudy, easy simple recipe. Ah, African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes, easy to follow from kids to eyes. So in a pot of hot or boiling water, you want to bring in your, your cabbage leaves and your cabbage and you give that a good stir. First off, I will start with leaves because the leaves are a little bit harder. I will give this stir for about 2 minutes. Then I will now bring in my cabbage inside. Then give it another stir for about 3 minutes on boiled water. Be careful at this point. You do not want to overcook your veggies, okay? Like when you cook them or when you want to fry with your beef, it's going to be so mushy. After about 5 minutes, you have to strain the water, run in some cold water to stop the cooking process yes do not skip this part either cold water or ice water can work perfectly now squeeze out any excess water in a hot pot go ahead and add in some cooking oil my cooking oil here i'm using canola oil you can use any oil of your choice like i always tell you guys my video is just a guide for you and now go ahead to saute your onion give that a good stir until it becomes translucent then bring in the diced tomatoes you want to stir these for about two minutes you do not want to overcook your tomatoes at this point okay just about two minutes is okay for your tomatoes now when you see that the oil is starting to float now go ahead and bring in that's the garlic which was means the garlic goes to the gives it a good flavor so guys i'm a lover of garlic i put enough garlic in my food okay and my beef comes in like i told you before any protein of your choice is going to work for the next ingredient also i have my celery guys another ingredient is celery 
celery and leeks if you haven't tried those two in your fried cabbage go for it then come back and leave me a comment how the flavor is how or how it tastes okay i just added in my green onion i give that a good stir my bell peppers are gonna come in so guys when your bell peppers come in you do not want to overcook that just give that a stir for about two minutes because you don't want it to be too soft okay then right now i will now bring in my squeezed cabbage i haven't yet added any seasonings inside keep watching ahead because i'm adding the seasonings i do not want to miss out that part my salt comes in now black pepper and some seasoning powder that's all you need for this amazing recipe go ahead and go give that a good stir and your cabbage will be ready to serve Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah. So guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share. Till I meet you in my next video. Bye for now and stay safe.